Hey guys, this is my cell phone, a six ounce piece of technology that I spend too much time with. In a survey conducted by the Common Sense Media in 2016, 50% of us teens report that we are addicted to our cell phones, and 72% of those surveyed feel a need to respond to texts instantly. It's like our attention can't escape our phones. It's like our phones are black holes. For those of you who might not be familiar with the black hole, a black hole is a celestial body so dense and with such a large gravitational force that not even light can escape its surface. But can our phone actually be a black hole? Theoretically, the answer is yes. Any mass can become a black hole. We just need to compress it down into a sphere with a specific radius. This is the Schwarzschild radius, named for Carl Schwarzschild, a physicist and astronomer who helped establish the current theory of black hole creation. At this, the escape velocity at its surface is equivalent to the speed of light and is thus a black hole. The second question is then, how small would our phone need to be? Well, we can calculate that from the formula for escape velocity. The velocity is equal to the square root of 2 times the gravitational constant times the mass of the object divided by the radius of the object. Setting our velocity equal to the speed of light c, we can solve for r and get our formula for the Schwarzschild radius. r equals 2 gm over c squared. Now, going back to my phone, it has a weight on Earth of 6 ounces, which is about 1.68 newtons. From there, since weight equals ma mass times acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per second squared, my phone has a mass of 0 0.171 kilograms. Substituting for m and solving, a black hole with the mass of my cell phone will have a radius of about 2.545 times 10 to the negative 28 meters, smaller than a hydrogen atom. But this black hole won't last. Before I begin, I'd like to give a disclaimer. I will use extremely large and small numbers in scientific notation. You've been warned. Back to this, delving a bit into quantum mechanics, the Hawking radiation model predicts that the time in which it takes this black hole to evaporate or release virtual particles to be roughly 4.235 times 10 to the negative 19 seconds. During this time, it will also become very hot, about 7.159 times 10 to the 23 Kelvin, and essentially explode. To put this in perspective, if you were to detonate a weapon with the same energy released by our black hole, this bomb would have the energy of approximately 2.898 times 10 to the 18 megatons of TNT. <sighs> That's a lot of zeros. In comparison, the largest weapon ever detonated was the Tsar Bomba by Russia at only 50 megatons of TNT. But all you have to know is this. Your phone will probably never become a black hole, so we don't have enough energy to do this. So in turn, this can never happen. And, hey, a text. I'm sorry, but I gotta go. This is too important.